What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again, and yet again, we are back on Russian Fishing 4. And today, I'm just going to throw out a really quick video on uh, Tunguska River and flow fishing for really big, broad whitefish. Um, so, for all of you floaters, this one's for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the hot spot we are looking at today is one that I've actually been kind of spamming in chat on MDog Gaming's channel for about, probably about four days, okay? Now, this spot right here is on Tunguska River. We are down here in the bottom left, obviously, we are on A6. And basically, this spot is actually a spot that one of the members of the chat actually found out around Christmas time. Her name was Jessica Tim. So thanks, Jessica Tim. She actually came down here and she was float fishing for broad white, broad white fish trophies. Okay. Now, I looked on the VK site and I noticed somebody had tried fishing here and it's active again. And when I say it's active, it's super ridiculously stupid active right now. Okay. Um, so it is float fishing if you guys are interested in something like that your main bait is going to be red worm um or you could also use stonefly as you can see on the upper left hand corner i'm using red worm and stoneflies uh another one is also uh what is it called the other bait is uh caddisflies you can also use caddisflies on that that's people have actually been catching fish on that um let me go ahead and show you the rod and the, the reel setup and everything that I've got going right now. Basically, when it comes down to it, your clip is going to be a clip 19 or a clip 20. Uh, there's our clips right there. 19 or 20, either one of those will work. You'll be absolutely fine in casting out there. Now, when I talk about the clip, I'm not saying that you absolutely have to get out that far. You can actually get at a shorter distance, you know... 10 15 whatever if you want to use a tele stick rod you can use a tele stick rod this place is actually very highly active when it comes to the broad white fish um and you can use a tele stick rod and cast out as far as you possibly can with a tele stick rod it works absolutely fine um but right now probably one of the best things to do is if you can if you have a balinese rod get a nice long cast out there it works a little bit better you can get a little bit bigger of a fish um, when it comes down to that when it comes down to your depth your depth you're looking at anywhere from 1.20 meters to probably about two two meters um I try to stick around 160 to 180 that way I can still be shallow enough to get the lighter fish but I can also be deep enough to try and actually get the bigger um, the bigger fish uh, the broad white fish um, if I switch this over to uh, I can't see the problem with this is I like to use a size 2 hook and with this one the best you can go is a size 4 that's why I don't like using the caddis flies so that's actually one of the baits that some people are using there's a few trophies that are out right now um, the entire board is filled up with this but for the last four days I've been catching it mo catching my fish mostly on, on just straight red worm um, as well as the uh, the mayfly stonefly larva as well so that will actually work when it comes down to the bites the bites are very very quick um, if we just go ahead and let me just show you this setup right here that I've got going if I, if you look at this setup the Sputnik Pulsar and the Mecta Bolognese 5 is not a good setup as you can see the load capacity is 10.5 kilograms on this and the uh, drag the max drag weight is 9.5 on this the reel is way too close my max reel drag is way too close to my rods max weight so what's happening is i can't go very high with that when it comes down to my friction break the highest i can actually go with these big fish are at a 20 um, and that actually kind of sucks because see how high the tension bar actually goes um, that sucks because the trophies on this are actually around eight nine ten kilograms when it comes down to the broad white fish now they don't sell extremely well but they it is super super fast when it comes down to their bite rate um, I, in a couple of hours, I've been able to fill a, a, a 
uh, keep net completely full with a couple of five kilograms, a couple of four kilograms and whatnot like that. Um, you'll also catch other types of fish and let me just go ahead and, and talk about the other types of fish that you'll be catching. As you can see, I'm on the record boards for the Arctic or Omul. The Omul, those are easy to get um, one kilogram over, so they're not hard to get when it comes down to the records. Uh, and then you'll also be getting, you can have a chance at getting the Arctic char, which is, I want to talk about that for a minute when it comes down to your setup. Um, but the most, most thing that you're going to get, you saw this, uh, the sardines, the Cisco sardines, and then the most you're going to get are these broad whitefish. And as you can see, people are using caddis flies. The biggest hook you can go with that is on a four. I don't like using the caddis flies. I like using just the straight red worms. They work really well, but the caddis flies obviously do as well. Um, and then there's also one other you can get, which is the buckle amur, the back call amul. I don't know where they come up with these names. As you can see, I'm on the um, I'm on the records for that. So when it comes down to my setup, I've got a very heavy heavy Balinese rod float so I can get the float way out there. I've got a size large two hook and the nature worms are what's mostly catching, but stonefly worm larva kind of work too for other types of fish you want to get a wide range of fish when it comes down to this that way you can get a better possibility of a skill up when it comes down to your floats um, i'm using a 9.5 kilo 9.4 kilogram um, fluorocarbon and that is just basically based off of my balinese rod and my um my reel, as you can see, I'm using a 10 kilogram. This whole setup was something that I did a very, very long time ago before I knew how to properly do setups. So I'm using a 10 kilogram line load capacity on a 10 kilogram Balinese rod with a 9.5 kilogram Pulsar, which has a 26 kilogram mech weight. My Pulsar is too, my Pulsar's drag is too close to my load capacity of my rod. And because of that, I'm not able to turn my brake friction up above 20 before I get redlined. If you're going to go something like this and you want to go with like a Sputnik or a Sabre 60, you need to make sure that you get around a 15 kilogram to a 20 kilogram rod. If you decide to go with this type of rod, you can go down a little bit lower when it comes down to your max drag, like an eight kilogram, seven kilogram. Um, maybe um, I, I really you know, anything that's around eight, seven, six kilograms, something like that. But you're going to have a little bit rougher time trying to get in those trophy eight kilogram broad whitefish. Um, that's why, in my opinion, as soon as I can, I'm going to take this Balinese rod, I'm going to retire it, and I'm going to try and get a 15 to 20 kilogram load capacity. That way I can turn up the break on this. So this is my basically all of my setup. The reason I'm using a braided line is because of the eight kilogram broad whitefish that you can get. They will run like hell. Um, and 350 meters, I get 424 meters if I had a longer um, spool. But on this one, as you can see, 350, I usually have no problem pulling those in with the 350 meter line. And then um, obviously my floral carbon, which is a 60 centimeter right there. Uh, so your depth when it comes down to it, like I said, is 160. I would, you can go to 150, 150 to two. I usually sometimes drop down to a two meter that way i can possibly try and get the bigger fish that are at the bottom i do believe fit, low, bigger fish usually go deeper um, usually within a couple of hours you can fill your keep net completely i'm not saying that you're absolutely going to be making a grand or whatever when it comes down to when it comes down to you know a full keep net usually a full keep net if you've got a couple of four or five kilogram broad white uh, broad white fish you'll probably get around 500 silver so it's a really good spot one seven or 17 uh, four, 114 if you miss a hit like i just did just go ahead and hit enter open up your you know open up your reel again and just let it float down and you're not going to lock your reel or anything else like that the where i like to cast when it comes down to this and where i get the best bite is if you follow this tree line up here at the tip of the rod and then it drops down and it comes over that down drop is where i like to cast and i do a full 120 120 percent cast and usually i get a fairly quick bite rate it does pick up a little bit when it's raining um, and like I said, you can use a telly stick on it. You just need to understand that every now and then you might hook into an Arctic char and those Arctic char can get upwards of 14 kilograms. Now, more than likely, you're probably not going to end up um, 
pulling in a huge Arctic, you know, trophy or anything like that. But just remember, you're going to need a lot of line. That's why I'm not here float fishing with, you know, a fluorocarbon main line, because I know eventually I'm either going to hook into a trophy of one of these and it's going to spool me because I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough line on or I'm going to end up hooking into a big char that's going to end up trying to spool me. And usually when, because I have a clip on it, if you guys didn't know, when you have a clip on it, if you don't close the reel and reopen it, your clip stays on it when you do your cast. So it's going to stop your float from floating any further out. So you need, after you cast, you need to hit enter, close your reel, and then hit enter again and reopen it. That way you can get a nice free float. And as you can see, the bite rate is super fast out here. I've been fishing here for about four or five days now. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've got a considerable amount of experience when it comes down to my skills on my uh, float fishing I'm now up to 83.2 percent which is really nice I've got a couple of percents on here um, a couple of skill ups I should say uh, to get me to about 1 percent so far in the last few days so it's actually been really nice so I just figured since I've been shouting this out in the chat I just go ahead and throw this out to you guys not a huge amount of money you will be able to fill up your keep net fairly quick nice really nice bite rate um, again Clip is clip is 19 to 20, and this is the spot we're at right here, 17, 114, and your depth is between 1.50, I'd say probably 1.20 to 2, and um, that's basically it. So hopefully, if this helps you out, and you're somebody who you can get on, um, there's a P lid, somebody who you who can get on Tunguska and you want to level your float fishing a little bit this is definitely a good way to do it and actually make a little bit of money too I know a lot of people go to like Octuba or they go to Severski Donets and they fill up their keep net and they only make a couple of hundred silver well with this one you fill up your keep net you can make a good round 500 to 700 silver if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't don't hit it just make sure no matter what you do uh, subscribe thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out really appreciate it keep gaming Keep doing it at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye. Oh, I missed that one. Ah.